I've got something pretty interesting going on here. I'll tell you more about it later. Uh, it's still a work in progress. Anyway, I've done something and had the dreaded failure to regenerate with lots of red. And you know, I know what I did, but it's not always clear. So there's this new thing that we added in 1.183, which is the latest release if you're listening to this around July 4 holiday. Um, all right, so I'll show you a very quick version of what is going on there. So I changed something upstream in a sketch and suddenly everything that referred to it um, is broken and red. So what you can do in this version is open up the version and history tree and hit the repair button and suddenly you select a history entry to repair this part studio. So a history entry is you know, one of these things under the expanded carrot here. And I can select a history entry that was where just before I made this branch, and which I knew that it was working successfully. So if we hit that, we end up with this second window, and they're automatically synchronized. You can see how they're... Um, I can turn that synchronization off, of course, uh, but it's helpful to have it synchronized. Now what I do in this feature um, tree here is referring to this, you know, the one that I'm working on in this in this branch, and this is the old one, right? So this is the reference. And um, so what I do is I I edit the feature that's in error, and if I highlight the missing thing that's missing from here, you'll see that in the old references it shows where it was expecting something to be. So in fact, I changed this. Uh, what was a line before, I change it into a Bezier curve. So um, it's missing the reference. So I'm going to delete the, that reference and replace it with this one. And now you'll see many things update. Uh, let it reflect. In fact, it all updated. And there we go. That is successful utilization of the new repair manager in Onshape. Anyway, I'll explain what on earth is going on here very, very shortly.